Hello friends, you are watching English with D, the channel that improves your English language proficiency and enables you to score your desired bands in English language tests such as IELTS and PT. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for regular updates on useful videos we upload on our channel. We have already uploaded two videos on how to attempt questions without reading the passage. And this is the latest video in that series that will further help you tackle the biggest problem in IELTS reading which is time management. The objective of this video is to help you to attempt all 40 questions within time limit by solving some questions without reading the passage. Hence, saving time for other questions that require understanding of the passage. Today's question type that we are going to learn about is multiple choice, multiple answers. In this type, we are given a question or a statement with multiple options and you are asked to choose multiple answers for this question. Now the main problem that students face in this type of question is locating all the right options because all the answers are spread throughout the passage. For that, we need to read the entire passage and this creates the problem of time management. So today, we will teach you how you can get most of the answers right without reading the passage. So let's get started. First, let's look at the example that we are going to solve today. In the question, we have options A to J and we have to choose five options which the writer has mentioned in the passage. And remember, we are not going to read the passage at all. Before we start solving this question, please note that the main subject in the question is tidal power. Tidal power is the energy produced using tides which are waves that come at the coast or shores of a sea or a river. It is one of the renewable sources of energy like solar and wind power. Now we will analyze each option and try to figure out. Let's look at option A. It says tidal power is more reliable than wind energy. Now we all know that nobody can predict when and how strong the wind will blow, but tides generally have a pattern, especially at the night. So this option sounds to be true as per the general information about tidal and wind power. So mark a tick here which indicates that we believe it is true for tidal power. Let's move to the next option B. This option is claiming that tidal power will replace all other forms of energy. Now we all know that all renewable sources of energy and not only tidal do not yet produce enough energy to sustain operations which require electricity. Hence, it is impossible for tidal power alone to replace all other sources of energy. So mark a cross which indicates that this statement cannot be true for tidal power. Option C says that its adoption has come because of public pressure. It is a well-known fact that not only public, even governments are now favoring renewable sources of energy, including tidal power. Hence, it could be true that in the passage, it is mentioned that public in Britain was pressuring the government to develop tidal power. But remember, we cannot say this for certain. Please understand the difference between this option and earlier two options. In the last two options, we were discussing the features of tidal power. But here, in option C, public's opinion is discussed, about which we cannot say for certain until we read the passage. So, for this option, 
we will mark a question mark because we are not sure whether it is discussed in the passage or not. Now let's move to option D. It says that tidal power will lead to lower air pollution. Everybody knows that one of the strongest reasons that people are preferring renewable sources of energy is that these sources are environment friendly and definitely help in reducing pollution level in the air. So for this option we will mark another tick with extreme confidence. Option E says that because of tidal power other plants might be shut down. We have already discussed that renewable sources of energy are now preferred source of energy and if these start producing substantial amount of energy it will definitely have a negative impact on conventional sources of energy such as coal plants. But again it is not a fact or feature of tidal energy so we cannot say for sure. So as we did earlier with option C here also we will mark a question mark. Next option F says that uptake of tidal energy would increase national income. Now this statement logically sounds very strong because if tidal energy is to be introduced in the country then new plants would have to be set up which means a lot more jobs and more jobs means more income. So mark a tick here. In option G it is mentioned that tidal power might face resistance from other fuel industries. We have already discussed that its introduction will have a negative effect on other sources like coal plants so there might be a resistance from such industries. But this option is less likely to be true because remember we discuss both public and government are in favor of renewable sources hence no industry would risk to go against the opinion of public and government. So here we would put a question mark although we strongly feel that this option cannot be true. Option H talks about cost of tidal power. It is widely known that one of the biggest hurdles in the adoption of renewable sources of energy is their high production cost and if something is produced with a high cost obviously it cannot be sold cheaply hence we would mark cross for this option since it does not make sense. Next option I talks about inland sites. Now tidal power is generated at the shores of sea or river. Therefore, it has no correlation to inland sites which makes this option unlikely to be true. So mark a cross here. Last option J is so obviously true that we not even need to discuss it. It states that the best sites for production of tidal power are the coasts. Beginning from the video we have mentioned several times the tidal power is the energy produced at the coast of sea or river so obviously these are the best locations for its production. So without any second thoughts mark a tick here. Now this is how our answers look like and remember we just applied logic and common sense. No reading of passage. Let's see what the actual answers are. As you can see we got 4 out of 5 answers right without reading even a single line from the passage. 4 out of 5 is good enough to get you at least 7 bands in IELTS reading. So guys please subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more such tricks to improve your band score in IELTS. For other modules, watch the videos we have uploaded on our channel.